All right, so some of you, you're at 5,000 friends and you need to make some room. And like me, I have 19,000 friend requests in the queue, as you can see right there. So I'm gonna show you how to make some room on your uh, friends list so that you can add. My problem is I need to add clients as friends in order to get their messages and stuff. So I'm gonna show you how, a couple tips. One thing is you can get rid of people on their birthday. If you look on the news feed of Facebook, it shows you their birthday. But here's another one that's a little bit more technical. Uh, takes a little bit longer, but it works if you'll do it a couple times a month. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna look for fake profiles, like people that, uh, like this right here. This looks like a, a fake profile. Uh, this, this is like just a black, it's like a troll account, right? A Black Lives Matter, and it's like all this stuff in here. So that doesn't look like a, a real account to me. And so I don't know this person, so I'm just gonna go through there and hit unfriend. So that's one way of doing that. The other way is right here like this. When you see an account that looks like this right here, that is an abandoned account. The way you can double check is you just hover over their name. I don't know Jeremy Martin, and that's a blank Facebook account, which means that they have un they've turned off their Facebook account, so you just drop them. And uh, because they're taking up dead weight on your uh, friends list. And if you're trying to let other people in, like in my case, I need to be friends with my client so that I can communicate back and forth. So I have to kick people off on a regular basis to be able to go back and forth. But you can see like this JC Chavez, this is a dead account. Mike Waterman, that is a dead account. So I'm gonna unfriend both of those and buy myself some space. And while I'm scrolling looking for those dead accounts, I'm also looking for troll accounts too. This is obviously a real person even though it's got a picture of a dog. But these are the kind of things like this guy, is this a real person? Yes, yeah, okay. You see I'm having to check and make sure. Now think about this, every time somebody's got a cartoon or something like this, I'm having to check and see if they're a real person. That's what people are wondering too. Like you might just be showing up as a fake person like Tom January, like this shit. Look, that's not the first impression. The first impression is that you're a superhero from the Captain America days. Come on, man. Maybe you're watching this, you need to clean that shit up. So we're looking for fake accounts like that and we are also looking for the abandoned accounts like I showed you where it's just a gray outline right here. When we go over here to Brandon Wynn, and we can see that that's just an abandoned account. We hit the unfriend button. We're buying ourselves some space. We're buying our friends list back again. Now look, you're gonna have a lot more. I clean mine out pretty regularly, so you're gonna have a lot uh, more gray accounts than I do, uh, and so it's probably gonna be a lot easier, a lot less scrolling for you to just go through this and, and do that as well. But uh, regardless, just be conscious that this is a way between unfriending people you don't know on their birthday, sounds like an asshole thing to do, but if you don't know them, they'll never notice, and then going through here, finding the old abandoned accounts and the troll accounts and just getting rid of those You'll be able to free up some space on your list where you can connect with whoever that you need to connect with for whatever reason. In my case, like I said, it's for my clients. So hope this helps you out. How to clean up your friends list on Facebook. Later.